Good morning, guys. Uh, it is early in the morning right now, like 5.30. I've been on Instagram, kind of going over to Cheetah Lake right next to my house, and catching bass and bluegill on a fly rod. And now, I'm not like an expert at fly fishing for bass and bluegill at all, but fly fishing is really simple. Um, like, it might look hard and like, oh, it's really not. like. The basic concept of it is just fish like the bugs you get a bug or something right in front of them i mean there's a lot of i mean you can make it look like a frog or there's lots of different flies but i was just using a grasshopper and you just throw it out there if it's next to them they just come up and eat it it's pretty cool so it's a lot of fun i'm gonna take you along with me today and we're gonna go catch hopefully like a 10 pound bass on a grasshopper <laughs> probably not that but we'll go pat catch some bass and some bluegill and it should be a lot of fun so i will catch you guys at the lake okay we made it the whole two mile or not two mile <laughs> 500 yard trip to cheetah lake over here um my house is right across that highway as a little kid i or as a young boy I was like 12 years old. Um, I used to come out here and I would just bike across the highway there, like play frogger, just to catch some freaking ditch pandas, you know. So I risked my life to learn how to bass fish. Oh, I was trying to lock the door, but I'll lock it with a key. Um, yeah, so that's uh, how I learned how to catch ditch pandas, just coming over here and fishing. Today we don't have the chest cam on us, so bear with me. You'll probably see this video unless it's just like a big thing of watching my butt, then probably not. Um, that'd be a little weird. All right guys, we're approaching the cove. So right here, is my favorite little spot to check out in the morning. We're gonna sneak up here because these fish like to just chill and like under a foot of water. So we're gonna sneak up here and set you guys up and start to cast. See all those fish busting on the water? I don't know if this tripod's so short. Oh. Okay, bear with me. All right, guys. Well, I had that bath on. I'm probably gonna cast out to this spot right here and try um, with a frog, and then we're gonna switch up to a hopper and see if we can't get the bath that way. So, this way right here.
Come up here, son. Come up here, son. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Oh, oh the fight. I recording. Yes! Oh! Oh! On the fly! Oh my god! Oh, did you see that freaking five weight bend, dude? That's like a two! Let's freaking go! Oh my god! Look at the girth! That's a freaking two and a half. All right, so <laughs> you guys might be like from Texas or something, being like, "Wow, this is really not that big of a fish, dude." But around here, that's a that's this is the biggest bass I've caught all year. One, and it's just a mondo. Oh, almost bit my hook out. Oh, what a huge fish! God, what a beautiful fish! <sighs> all right, let's go get a release on this bad mama jama. <sighs> Hi, big girl. <sighs> Later, baby. <sighs> Man. Oh, this is, that's so special to me. I, wow, I, I'm like getting emotional. <laughs> This is uh, the lake that I grew up fishing and learned how to bass fish on. Really cut my teeth as an angler. And uh, to catch that fish right there, that was my first ever, well, okay, I, I've caught, I caught two bass yesterday on a fly rod. But that was like my first real bass on a fly rod. I just didn't do it on that um, frog. It was so thick. God, that was awesome. I seen him swore, but I was like, Oh, there's a fish right there. And I just gave him one more pop to that. And he just came up and wham. And I pinned him good. So, oh, that's sick. Wow, that was a good fight. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep fishing. But that was like the sickest thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, man. All right, uh, we're going to keep fishing. I will get back to you guys when I do. <laughs> Long range cast are so hard with the short rod. Pandas don't live in the bushes. Alright. Yo. Come on, bro. Give me a fish. Give me a good cast or something. I'll give myself a fish. Alright. What I think I'm going to do is while this bite's still hot, I'm going to go over to right over here in a cove and hopefully catch some more ditch pandas on the frog. I had three bites there in this place, but um, I think I've kind of spooked them all off. So we're gonna go over and try to get some ditch pandas over on the frog. There is something sitting in there that I think, I don't know if it's just a little bass or what, that if I threw a grass hopper on, hopper, hopper, I could probably catch it, but I'm just gonna leave them alone. So we're gonna go over there really quick. I only got like 40 more minutes to fish probably. And then we'll wrap this video up but it's been a sick one so far so i hope you're enjoying this sorry about not having a chest cam today i've just been too lazy to edit my last video and so i need to get more sd cards that's the moral of the story but i will be with you guys in a second when we go over to that cove all right guys well i wasn't recording but they're just eating this little um frog up look at that little dinker beautiful little fish um yeah but that this little frog is just killing them 
it's pretty cool to just kind of like all I'm doing is just uh, like target casting it to a little structure and just popping it a couple times and they're seeming to just eat it up so that little guy right there pretty cool later bud so yeah that's what I'm using just a little frog imitation fly um, and they're just smacking it so and on this little five weight even a little guy like that was a lot of fun so we're gonna go over to that cove I was telling you guys about and uh, go catch some more fish, hopefully some on camera. I'm kind of kicking myself for not going and getting um, my chest cam, but oh well, this should be a cool video anyways. Uh, all right, let's go. Hi hey guys, spot number three was a bust. I'm just kind of, if I'm not seeing a bunch of fish, I'm just kind of, or getting bites or anything. We're just gonna delete that video and go to the next spot. But uh, right here, I had a good feeling about this one. I think this one could produce. We might be able to catch a fish right here. You never know. You know, I think we plop it just right. We play our cards right. We might just catch a big one, so. Oh, geez, there's a bass. If you guys could see that lily pad just moved. There's a pretty big bass hanging out at the base of that. He just moved it. hook about a nine pound bass roughly it might be nine ounces but something like that we're gonna go catch this fish Tell you, all we catch is Mondos around here. Look at that freaking tank, dude. All right, he's only about a half pound, but quarter pound. Quarter pounder. I like a quarter pounder with fries, please. Fish on, dude. Pretty sweet. Get it back. Boom. All right, guys. So what I did to catch that fish was uh. I don't know if you guys could see that at all, but you probably could a little bit. I was right in that corner, popped the frog a couple times. Whoosh, can't even hit it. I'm thinking maybe we try out in this area a little bit, because uh, I don't know, maybe there's a big bass hanging out in there. But we got one, so that's that's good news. I'm thinking if I could get in that corner too, I might catch a giant. Just the question is how really at this point all right guys we got the hopper on i'm just gonna try to catch as many fish as possible in like 20 minutes and then i'm gonna go so should be able to catch like three or four this is a big hopper catches bass bluegill a big bluegill so let's try to get a mondo on there should be one hanging in these lilies
Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm in the tree. Back to the first spot we were at. This spot seemed a little trash, to be honest. It's just a big old net. If uh, you start fly fishing, just just remember, um, really try to refrain from chucking your rod in the lake or river or whatever you're fishing. You know, um, I'm not a master at this, like my good friend. Uh, mentor Jeffrey Mayberry but uh, you know I picked up some stuff from him <sighs> he's a great dangler really miss him he moved to Texas he's not even catching big flaunches down there he's just kind of chilling so yeah I need to tell him hey get on that fly fishing bite because the flaunches uh, do eat so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send him that video and tell him He's an old man, he probably won't see it on Instagram. He might, he might see this video on the bit. Why are you call me old, dude? But, uh, yeah, I'm going off on a tangent. We're gonna walk here to the last spot, the first spot. Dude, there's a ton of ducks out here. That friggin' spoonie just scared me. Oh, there's a bass chilling in here. I think there's some big fish hanging around. All right, we're back to that spot we caught that mondo at. Oh, there's a spoonie. What you doing, spoonie? Where'd you go? There she is. I just gave this freaking bluegill brain damage, but that's actually kind of a big one. Sorry, I wasn't filming that, but look at that little guy. Ate the hopper. Not a bad little guy. Boom. Hey, bud. Fish swap. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you like this, please feel free to like, like, comment, subscribe, do stuff like that. Um, and I will keep making these bangers of videos for you guys, hopefully. Um, <laughs> it doesn't always work like this. It takes a lot of work. Well, it takes quite a few trips usually for me to get a good video for you guys. Um, lately, I've just been catching them, like for my bass fishing video, I've just been catching them like every time, so. I've been able to pop out some videos. Um, I've got two in the works right now. This one, another one. I think I'm going to post this one first, though, because it was pretty freaking sweet. And, yeah, that uh, first fish, I know I my voice cracked like a little girl, but it was amazing, and I don't regret it. So, yeah, I was hyped. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, there's a bunch of grass hoppers right here. Oh, let's fish it Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry, Daisy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.